spend a lot of time finding out about each other during this time on the show, they also get to know the other couples quite well. And sometimes, I mean, every once in a while, a spark can develop that could maybe turn into something further down the line. I want to bring out two of our now singles from Nashville who have both acknowledged that there could be something brewing between them. And look, we want to know more. So come on out. Hey, Gina. Hey, again. Hey, Mac. <laughs> there. Bring y'all on out. How's it going? Let's, we got things to talk about. <laughs> I think it's fair to say this was the most unexpected thing to come out of the season, right? Fair to say? Uh, yeah, that's Great. fair. And I noticed how comfortable you two are. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little spark there. <laughs> Mac, I remember you sitting on the beach with the guys on the honeymoon, and you made a comment about how beautiful Gina was. What's going on? You were like, she's a lot thicker. That was like the oh <laughs> moment, I think. I, don't, I didn't say thicker. I was like, I typically date more slender. I think Gina's sexy. I think you're crazy. But I think she's gorgeous. I don't know what type of girls... Clint has pulled before, but I think Gina's very good looking. I don't see him pulling. Girl's better looking than Gina. Was Clint a little salty? He did look a little salty. But to Clint's defense, I don't blame him. I felt like I was kind of hard on Clint. I don't know why. Um, the day at the beach, because you liked his wife a little bit. But anyway, <laughs> let's keep going. I can understand if Clint is like hesitant towards me, because watching that back, I, I come off like a bit of <laughs> so. Nah. No, okay. You told you Sorry, said, you said you're true. Kevin and I were like, what? Well, definitely watching it back. I mean, it's sexy to see a, a guy go to bat for you. He feels like someone's offending you. So I was thankful. I actually reached out and was like, yeah. thanks for having my back. All right, fill in the gaps. Tell me how this all happened. Originally, I think I fired off uh, a DM, which was a fire emoji. Uh, the flame. The flame. On like, something she had posted on her story. Yeah, it was like at least someone sent in flames. Dang. Mm, I hear you on that. It was friendly. It was friendly. It was a friendly flame. You put the flame out there <laughs> hoping that she would notice that you were like, damn, you're hot. But keep going. You're right, you're right. Yeah, and then there was a friend I seen she had that I found attractive, and so I, you know, shot her a little message. Like since about you're not single, your yeah, friend could be. Exactly. Try to disguise it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disguise. <laughs> You really were doing it because you wanted Gina to be jealous or you wanted to throw the scent off for a second so that you wouldn't look like you at that point it was harmless. Yeah, it was. I agree. It was harmless. I wasn't trying to make Gina jealous or anything like that. Mac, how was it? How could it be? How could it be harmless then when you've already talked about how much you, how hot you think she is? You're sending her fire emojis. You're like, girl. Well, we're all, I mean, our cast is all really close, but I think we're definitely trying to like stay, you know, you just never know. I wasn't trying contact. to break up a marriage. Yeah, it wasn't. It. Oh, they were doing a good job of breaking it up themselves. You don't <laughs> yeah, have to worry we're, about we're, that. At yeah. that point, we were already in flames, too. So. As you saw it going downhill, what were you thinking? I saw an opportunity. I'm like, oh, here we go. It's not working out. Maybe this is my shot. Did it feel weird going out on a date with somebody else's husband? I think it... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. <laughs> I know it's weird. Here we are. Weird. Really home wrecking. Um... <laughs> At that point, I feel like Clint and I had had several discussions leading up to decision day where we knew it just, we weren't going anywhere. So had it been like obviously in the middle of our, of our marriages and we were cheating, that would have felt a little weird. Um, but at that point, there was really no emotional ties. Like once the decision was said, we had solidified like, okay.